Through the North Auckland countryside, the familiar white cars of the district nurses go out from Rawini Hospital to the scattered settlements of the Hokianga. 9,000 people live in this county, and near each of the larger settlement areas, there's a clinic hutment, built and equipped by the medical service. These clinics are the basis of the service. They're first aid posts, consulting rooms and plunket centres. They hold the records of every patient's medical history and once a week a doctor and nurse are in attendance. The service has an efficient clinic system but there are still many areas where the doctor must go to the patient. Remote, lonely places. The service reaches the most isolated farms, and the district nurses are on call night and day. They're ready to deal with major accidents, they visit homes, and they do their regular health department work of immunizing children against typhoid and diphtheria. The district nurse is hard-working, adaptable and generous for she has to deal with social problems as well as those of medicine. Problems of society, of how people live and what they eat. Tinned food should not be a staple diet. This is no substitute for fresh meat, fish and vegetables. Tea and bread and jam are not sufficient for the needs of growing children. To check on inadequate diet, the nurses regularly visit schools and inspect the children's lunches. At this school, the nurse found that many children had no more than bread and butter. When this happens, the nurse must find a way to improve family rations. She may come to an agreement with a householder to use a portion of the family benefits to buy fresh meat. In carrying out her work, the nurse depends upon the cooperation of the people under her care. Diet has been improved but the job of preventing sickness is complicated by the problems of housing. There is too much overcrowding and cramped quarters breed tuberculosis. Standards of health are directly related to housing conditions and they must be improved. The Hokianga has a subtropic climate and the majority of its people are Maoris, and so the medical service has designed a house to suit climate and people. It's called the Pakanai House, meaning good living, and one of them has been built at Rawane. This is a model of the house. It has plenty of ventilation, separated rooms, and a large veranda. It was designed with the cooperation of the county engineer and the county council. Cooperation is a medical service principle, and this is applied to the way in which the service itself is run. Dr. G.M. Smith is the superintendent of the Rawini Hospital and once a fortnight he calls his staff together for a discussion of their mutual problems. Dr. Smith is the head of the service. Under his direction are two doctors, salaried employees of the hospital board and six district nurses from the health department. With the hospital staff they work together in operating the Rawini Hospital and the area clinics. For the clinics are the main links of the Hokianga scheme. The clinics are the medical service stations where everyone, young and old, may come for treatment.
In the clinics, Dr. Smith is often present to supervise the work of his doctors and nurses, but this is still a backlog service, and every member of the staff must be prepared to work alone in an emergency. A call has come from an isolated farm over the sand hills of Kahakaharoa. The case is serious. The symptoms indicate acute appendicitis, and the nurse has decided to take the patient straight to hospital. The hospital has been warned. A car is waiting at Rawani. There is no delay. When the patient arrives at the hospital, a doctor confirms the nurse's diagnosis. Everything is ready. The teamwork of the whole service has brought modern hospital facilities within immediate reach of every patient in the county. The people of Hokianga have a service that depends upon community effort, on cooperation between doctor and people, nurse and patient, clinic and hospital. In the Hokianga, cooperation has built a service that answers the needs of the back block country.